Hello aviators, how are you today? My name is Magnar Nordal. I'm an ATA captain and instructor. Today we will talk about a tail strike on landing. And this uh, involves an ATA 72600 from Azul. They landed on Recife in Brazil on 22nd November. And um, as the video shows, they hit pretty hard with the tail. Mm, the weather conditions appear to be very good. Uh, the METAR 15 minutes after incident show uh, crosswind 10 knots, good visibility, high clouds. And the list of METARs also show very consistent weather in August. So probably the weather has no influence on this landing. The aircraft in question was built by ATR four and a half years ago. It served in Wingser in Indonesia until two years back, and then it was transferred to Brazil and Azul. It was painted in the Brazilian flag, so it's a really beautiful airframe. The video is provided by Papa Charlie Golf. I recommend you to check out the videos and website, so I provide a link below. And when we look at the video, we see the aircraft appears to be stabilized on approach. And, uh, but then, as they start to the flare, they start to the flare too high and it's too abrupt. What you want is a smooth rotation from the sand, that's three degrees profile, down to zero, and then you touch down. But for some reason here, the aircraft almost levels off much higher than that. And uh, as the speed starts to bleed off, you get a higher angle of attack. And now the aircraft will start, it wants to pitch down and the rate of descent will increase. And when you see the close up, you can now see the aircraft is descending very fast. It's uh, Touch down on the left main wheel because they have the crossing from left, so that is correct. And then the other main wheel, but you can see the elevator that the pilot is pulling back on the yoke because the elevator is moved up until uh, the touchdown point. And this results in a very high G touchdown, and the tail hits. Uh, the ground and just after touchdown the yoke seems to be moved forward you see the elevator now pointing a bit down and more down here you see some flames and sparks from the tail cone it is uh, but there is no fire after that as the tail now leaves the ground because the pilot is now pushing the yoke forward now the pitch is reduced, but you have a very high impact and the landing gear on ATR is quite bouncy. So the aircraft is now starting to bounce up. So it gets uh, airborne for a short period of time. And this time there is no ailerons into the wind anymore, but uh, with 10 knots, it's not uh, critical. So we can look at the video in, uh, without interruption. Hey. First of all, you fly in stabilized approach. And apparently they did that on this occasion. I don't know exact the speed, maybe a little fast since uh, they started the rotation for the landing and it appears they level off very quickly. So I assume maybe a little fast, but uh, I cannot verify this. Anyway, the pilot started to flare too high and it's bit too abrupt and um, 
The result is the aircraft now start to level off too high. And as the speed decreases, the aircraft tend to pitch down, so you're holding back and you continue float. But there are above ground effects, so that doesn't help. And now the speed is getting even less and the angle of attack increases. And now the aircraft starts to sink rapidly towards the ground. And it's a natural reaction to pull, right? But what happens when you pull hard on the yoke on touchdown? The opposite of what you want, in fact, because the aircraft rotates around the center of gravity, and this is ahead of the landing gear, the main landing gear. So I exaggerate the position here on this uh, figure. But uh, as you rotate the nose up, the main is moves down. So you have a movement in addition to the sink rate of the aircraft. So when you touch down, you have the sink rate plus the rotation of the wheel towards the ground. And this makes the touch on much harder and also increases the risk for a tail strike because now we get a very high nose. So that said, what can you do? There are several options. First of all, when you start to float like this, it's better to go around. Absolute. Because no harm done. If you end up in a situation where you are experiencing a very high rate of descent prior to touchdown, just accept the fate. Don't pull anymore. Release the back pressure. Now the main will start to rotate up. And the impact force will be less. And as you release the back pressure, the angle of attack decreases so the aircraft will not jump again or bounce. That's my advice. I have done it. And if you really want to polish your landings, you use that technique even in a normal landing. So just before you touch down, release the back pressure a little bit, lower the nose one degree maybe. And when you do this, the touchdown force is less and you get a very smooth and light landing. Okay, that's all for this time. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and happy learning.